It's the 8th of January, 2021. I'm out here in my t-shirt. I'm not the least bit cold. It's not even sunny. The sky is all gray. It's maybe one degree below. Of course, don't forget, I'm not in a part of the world that uses the antiquated Fahrenheit system. So that's really warm. That's getting up close to the freezing point, melting point, however you want to look at that. But you can hear a bit of a hum in the back here. And uh, that's the bee barn fan. And it's kind of working overtime. Once it gets up to minus two, minus one, uh, the fan starts to run quite a bit, keep the bees cool. Let's go in and look at those. And uh, I've got my little infrared FLIR camera here. And we'll take a look at a, a few of the uh, colonies and see what kind of signatures we can see in there. Hopefully we have 111 signatures. That'd be nice. This fan. A little smelly, not too bad. Dark in here, so turn the red lights on. There we go. My building shifts awful bad in the winter and uh, the door doesn't latch some of the time. So okay. So I've got three and a half. You can't see the display there but I want three and a half degrees which it cools to three, so it's really not that bad off. Uh, let me turn this around. These are the little mini nukes that I have. You can see they're uh, nice and warm there. Some of them warmer than others. Here's just some shots of uh, the stack of hives. You can kind of see the difference between some of the poly hives and some of the insulated wooden boxes. Some of the ones down below are a little bit cooler. It's hard to see in the pictures really which are which. But the entrance is glowing yellow like that is very nice to see. So you can see the handles in the poly boxes. There's a cool nuke in between a couple warmer ones. The poly nukes are on top, so you can often see the difference of the top row. These are all insulated wooden 10 frame boxes with the little entrances glowing. See the one on the very left on top, you can't hardly see it. Uh, it looks kind of dark, so there might not be much going on in there. Some wooden boxes here getting closer shots to the entrance. That one on the left, that's not insulated, so you can see the wooden box glowing better than the one on the right. Some poly boxes. So those two poly boxes on top, on the right, they're kind of dark, so there might not be much going on in there. And just some shots of uh, the entrances inside some of these hives. It looks really neat because it, it looks like they're uh, molten lava or something in there. So you can see the frames. That's a very small cluster in, in the back, so that might not make it. But overall, I did see a heat signature in every single one of the colonies in that building, which is nice to see this time of year in the entrance up under the frames. Some of these are kind of hard to see what they really are. That's a nice one.
even though they're kind of hard to make out. Some of them look kind of neat with the different signatures. It's, uh, it's just interesting to see where the heat shows up in the different hives. There's a lot of heat showing on the top uh, above the insulation. I hope you found that interesting. I find it interesting to see those heat signatures in the hives, uh, especially if you can actually see in that entrance and look up at the bottom of the frames and see the bees in there all warm. If it's warm, it's there and it's alive. That's what I need. Hopefully they can stay like that for another two months. Could start to count now. Two months, they should be out of there in two months. Hopefully my, uh, hopefully my insulation project and my insulation theory uh, allows me to take those out of there. You know, I want to say early, earlier than I might otherwise without deleterious effects on them. So I went through that kind of fast, but you see those little uh, mini nukes? I've got those uh, mini mating nukes. I've just got two of them stacked. And so we've got five mini frames over five mini frames. And then there's four of those in that box. And I can see a, a signature off each one of those still. So that's really exciting. Uh, I'd love to be able to winter those regularly. Then that would extend my queen rearing season on so that I could fill my minis at the end, get them built up to a nice little cluster uh, winter in there and have myself some spring queens ready to go for uh, splits and increase and whatnot. So that was a really exciting to see. Uh, so I know it has been a while since I posted a video. Uh, it's been Christmas, I've been actually having a really good time here. Um, wife and I just staying at home. Of course, we're mandated to stay at home right now. I thought I'd do some woodworking videos uh, this winter. Perhaps uh, I can knock a few of those out and show you a few things that might be helpful. So I hope you found the uh, heat signature video kind of interesting. That little FLIR camera, I don't know if I recommend that or not. It's a pain in the butt to use. Uh, you know, the battery goes dead and it doesn't last very long and it's wiggly on the phone and it's it's very slow it's not very responsive uh, I don't know what the alternative is especially with that price point it is not cheap but they go up from there uh, get anything worthwhile you're talking many hundreds of dollars so I guess it's about all a guy like me can ever ever hope for so I hope you found that interesting, and uh, I, I hope you're having a good winter. I hope your bees are having a good winter. I hope my bees are having a good winter. And uh, so we'll just wish you a really great 2021. Uh, and again, 2021 doesn't have to be that great to be better than 2020. Let's hope, uh, let's hope these vaccines make the rounds real fast, and hopefully they uh, work really well. We can get life and business back to normal. In the meantime... Stick to YouTube, watch all my videos, have a good time. I hope you enjoy them. And regardless of any of that, have fun.